Okay, so... Right. And then next turn, I think. Or we go Swiss Spear. Attack. Rebel's opponent starting on six. Uh, and her hand is awesome. This is like an absolutely phenomenal hand. Uh, it is not a third turn kill. There's not enough land for it to be a third turn kill, but it is very good. Opponent going to 17. Uh, oh, well, Fury plus Scam effect is going to be pretty bad. So Rebel has 20 life, um, and a Fury will kill her in three attacks, because if it becomes 4-4, four, four, then that's 8 plus 8, 16 plus, you know, 4 is enough, but 8's more than enough. Well, this is a toughie. Uh, let's see, would I try to race here? So that thing needs, uh, let's see, turn two, turn three. It needs until turn four to win, uh, even if you play the Sacred Foundry face off, which I don't think I would do here. Uh, if you can get in there at 17, next turn you can attack for one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, put them to eight. Uh, Lightning Helix doesn't change the math. Very scary. If you draw a land, then you can do another one, two, three. Four, five, six. They might Bowmaster. They might keep a hand with Terminate or Voidwalker. Um, I think... I think the worst is just Terminate. I'm I think I would just try to race. Uh, like, you can't block, right? Blocking is doom. Um, so, okay, opponent... Is that a Black Cleave Cliffs? What are the chances that they specifically have? another scam effect. Oh, All right. actually, the chances are relatively high. So, potentially. one, two, three. So, what we're gonna Rebel do has the mana to cast two catalyzing three damage spells. So she can do six, she can do eight Just twice. Uh, she needs to do eight plus nine. Uh, if she plays Bloodstained Mire, Helix is the opponent and Skewer the Critics, she would get nine in this turn. Uh, six. She would has. She has enough to win the game next turn. Well, she had to have lightning helix pre combat though. Um, she's going to attempt to kill the fury. This is this is going to end up pretty cool, I think, if the opponent has another scam effect. So you're going to let the skewer resolve. She's going to skewer again, right? Hopefully she's going to skewer again, not bolt. Okay, skewer again. If they have another scam effect, she can respond with bolt and kind of get him. Oh, she's yeah. so far behind, right? I think like. They were at 17. Double? She could have gone Helix, Skewer the Critics, Pre Combat, that's six. Two buffs on the Monastery Swiss Spear, uh, that's nine. And then she just had literally had enough damage to win next turn if they don't have a Terminate. Um, sure. So, like, this is going to look good because she's going to Helix the Voidwalker and get in with Prowess, but, like, it, it's not. <laughs> She still has to deal, like, another 14 points of damage or something. You have another one. No way. No. Just fetching. This is... Well, this is just, like... This is so dodgy. She could have just won this turn. I mean, Nine, maybe they would have blocked with the Void Walker. 10, 11, 12, 13 points of damage on that Fury. Uh, I think it's you just play the Tarn, it's fine. I should have played the land. Because he made well, Bowmaster. Yeah, I, I did say you should play the land. Oh, seek the, the beast. beast version. That's cool. What the exile? Thoughtsy's Fury Fable. Fable's good. This is gonna be pretty good. She should play the Scalding Tarn, and then they're gonna like probably. It depends if they have a land. They go like Thoughtsy's Fable. Play That's true. not great. 
Fadisco Fable. That's very great. Fable, our turn. Oh, we drew it. Oh, that's great. Absolutely fantastic. And it's Aussies? No way. Wow. Really wow. Bad. All right, won the lottery on this one. Uh, yeah, break this for Sacred Foundry Tapped. No. Uh, and then Rock and Roll. And they take two. Maybe Rebel wouldn't have won with my line because they were, might have lost to the to the Fury that would have still been in play. I'm not sure, but yeah, just, YOLO, let's go. Uh, but really, really was able to punish the opponent for having that second scam effect, uh, which obviously looks fantastic. And she did it here on film. Opponent on two. Everything kills them. Every single card in the deck kills them. Yep. Ragavan. So what you don't want to have here is the opponent hit you and hit a lightning helix. Don't hit removal. Don't hit removal. Lightning helix lightning. would be real bad. What did they reveal? And there you go! Scoreboard! Ah, it'll block, yeah, just bolt their face. Bizolt their physace. Scoreboard. I guess that was real nicely played with uh, curling 100 cards into a, into a, a scam effect. Uh, it looks really fantastic. Uh, let's see here. If you have Sanctifier on Vec, this is the matchup for it. I think Pad to Exile is probably pretty you know, good. Goblin Guide. Uh, why would you cut Goblin Guide? Five cards. But cards that you want to cut are Lava Spike There's and Boros. Oh, Boros Charm first. Chalice, potentially, I think. I would not side that Smash in. Smash is quite good. I know. And, I think and do they have a lot of artifacts? Beats the so I would, I would not side in... Exquisite Firecraft? It costs literally 9,000 mana? Do um, five, six, seven, eight, eight. If they go for a Furious Game, turn one. So the cards I would side in are Path to Exile and Sanctifier Onvac, and I would side out all of my Roiling Boros Charms. And uh, why would you side out Rolling Vortex when they have eight cards that cost zero to cast? That's not a that's not a good side out. Um, you want to side out you want to side out Boros Charm and then some number of lava spikes. Okay, so Searing Blaze is one of your best cards. Yes, Boros Charm out. Come on, Rebel. We can do it. Uh, this is a game that's on the battlefield. The opponent they can technically kill you with cards like Lightning Bolt, but it's kinda hard. Great hand ish. There's two Boros Charms in it. We should have cited them out. We can hold up Boros Charm to protect our Eidolons. But that's so just not going to happen. Double Eidolon is kind of good. Uh, this hand's not actually that great. It's fine. Oh, no. Everything costs right. two. This is Ragavan Termini. Hand. Uh, Vantage Swift Spear Pass. This is gonna suck. Make him have it, but this is gonna suck. Oh, that really okay. sucks. Oh, is a scam effect? No way. Why not? They have like six, eight scam effects, right? I mean, scam effects are particularly good against a deck full of point removal. That's nice. Just draw a Sanctifier on Beck. Ruin their lives. Oh, this is the worst. This is the worst. What are they waiting for? 
Hmm. Resolve the ability. What do they turn over? Helix. Uh, they have one card. Uh, I think you play Eidolon. Do you? No. Is that just a losing prop? Ugh. How we beat it is by... I think you get Mountain. He, you can't you can't let them hit you with Ragavan a bunch. I want to set up double Eidolon with a Boros Charm. I don't think that's going to work. Double Eidolon with a Boros Charm is at least 10 damage to you. That's my only way to kill. So far, is my only way to kill a Fury. It has so First Strike. Play this. Oh, I see what you're gonna give them indestructible. So the first Eidolon is free. The second Eidolon costs you two. The Boros Charm on top of that costs you uh, four. So that's six damage. And then you've been hit by the Fury at least twice at this point. Wait, what did you do? Or just cast on? You just blocked the Ragavan Rebel. You don't have time for this fancy play of yours. To hope to draw like a lightning bolt or a. Ugh. Oh goodness, no way. That's all right. They took two. I believe in you, Rebel. You got this one. <laughs> I still have one card in hand. They did not play a minute. Something. Oh, Spike. Yeah, I told you. Boros Charm and Lava Spike are the cards you don't want in your deck. The... They don't affect the battlefield. The opponent has to beat you on the battlefield. There's just no way to win with the cards that you've drawn. My draw exactly has to be... Uh, I need to draw two deal three spells to Fury. Well, then you would still lose or to the Ragavan. All right, so you a million per. Oh, I guess you can break the Bloodstained Mire because you're gonna gain three from the, Crap, from the. Myself down to ten. Take. I mean, if they were bowling a bolt. Oh, they're just asking you to get lightning bolted. I think. What do they got? Eight in, Rebel at two. How do you kill the... You don't have Paz Exile in your deck right oh, now, right? No. How do you kill it? That's game. So, uh, like I was saying during sideboarding, you want to side up Boros Charm and Lava Lava Spike. Like, those cards just don't affect the battlefield. And the way that you lose this game is by getting hit by is creatures to fake me out? I don't know. Are that are really good. Well, you, uh, you have no plan to beat More Fury right now. Effects. That brings back the creature. Voidwalker. Voidwalker. They played the Voidwalker before. Oh, for, oh, close. This is close. Close and good enough. Um, yeah, I, I wish Rebel could hear me. Boros Charm and Lava Spike don't affect the battlefield. You, in fact, want Pad the Exile because it costs one. If you're on the, if you're on the draw, even because it costs one, you can interact with Ragavan. It's really good to interact with Ragavan for one because otherwise it hits you. So you think, oh, I don't want to give them a free land. Well, do you think giving them a free Lotus Petal and whatever was on top of your library is better? Yeah, yeah, Rebel, take out those. Well, that's not very good, but. Uh, do we have anything else that's good? I mean, Guide is good. It can block Ragavan. It can get in on turn one. Rock and roll. Yeah, that card is too slow. Take out Lava Spike. Actually, no. I think I would be okay with Exquisite Firecraft over Boros Charm, but I would bring Guide back in. Why are you highlighting Wear Tear? Why was that's Wear Tear? Why would you? Why would you ever care? About it disenchanting a fable. 
this hand this is like one of those hands that you just oh, you can't ever win can't cast searing blaze this hand has no context would you just go so float rift bolt first turn and then what Not a fan of the sure. of the untapped sacred foundry for nothing. Just let it hit. But no, just let it hit. Why? You have two paths. They might take the other path, but if they it's just it just doesn't matter. Like what if you drew a land? You could have blazed it. Yeah, there was just no reason to path there. Like, they didn't actually use their scam effect, right? Um, you could have waited for them to use the scam effect and respond. They probably wouldn't have done so, right? But let's say they did. You could get another card. They try to find. They don't try to play. Okay, we don't worry about that anymore. Interesting card to have taken. We know they ought to take the other path. A dying effect. We know that sucks. Marsh Flats. Come on. Oh, yeah, Sanctifier on Beck. Rebel just needs a land. She's going to be, like, in a pretty decent spot to win. Want to play that up? They take damage there? Seek the beast. Seek it. Orcish yeah, Bowmasters. Yeah, oh, oh, this. this one sucks. It's only two damage. You have like a little time, but they have six cards and four lands. That is some poop. I'm cheering for Rebel to just go, like, land Sanctifier on Vec, kind of stop sign the battlefield, and then figure out what to do next. Mm. Please give me a land. Maybe Fable. Yeah. Ugh. Barf. A great spot. Let's go land. Come on, Rebel. Let's go land. Yeah! Three damage, Sacred Foundry, let's go! It's gonna hold off a lot of damage. Or it's not, but the opponent's just gonna attack into it for no reason. One of the two. Lightning Bizolt. Three cards? Just trying to burst mm, aggro. Down. They don't know Rebel has Lightning Helix. Two Lightning Helix. I like I, I think Rebel has a pretty good chance of winning this one. It's gonna be tough, but it's gonna be winnable. Yeah. 
Void Walker. Kind of need a land. You do need a land. Uh, that seems like a terrible attack. I would block the Goblin Shaman. A land is like really pretty good. Okay, that's not bad. Land. You have to kill the Void Walker. Well, and probably have to kill the green guy. If a black red cannot exile it instead. Connect for two. What? Skewer path. Take two. Yeah, okay. I don't mind that. You could... Well, you should lightning bolt the... the. Well, don't path it. Lightning bolt it. Start with path here. Well... The reason you don't path that is because they might have fury, and you need to have a bigger removal spell for fury, and you're down now down most of your paths. Uh, lightning bolt there. Uh, even if they have, they have two cards. Like they would need two one casting cost cards to grow that out of lightning bolt and range. He likes the reflection. Um, and then you connect, and then skewer Can the Dothy Voidwalker. And I actually really like your chances at that point. Uh, there's actually no reason for me to open myself up here. Let's just kill the Void Walker. Okay, that was... Okay. You have two Lightning Helixes. Maybe they'll fade? Chip Chip Hooray? Land would be insane! There you go! Searing Blaze, that stupid fable... They have an extra. They do have an extra thing effect. An um, extra what effect? You just blaze the bejesus out of the fable, or you can helix the fable and attack. If it's a red or black permit. Oh, okay. So. There's no reason why I don't fire this off now. If you make that play, I think you should attack and skewer the face. But that turns off your Searing Blaze. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I would have used the Searing Blaze, which if maybe if the opponent were foolhardy, they would have made the same play and taken three. Um... That, yeah, Serum Blaze just was better there. Like, also, like, just using the Scalding Tarn now that you are under... Oh, won the lottery, sweet. Uh, I think you have to kind of break... the Scalding Tarn and then Searing Blaze at some point. Maybe not, like, immediately... This is real. What do you have? Three, six, eight, nine. Oh, so I think Rebels got three, it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I'm gonna leave on the next turn. Uh, if I draw a land. Why do you need to draw a land? But you don't need to draw a land. Two ways. Yep. Uh, I think I just blaze the Bowmasters. This one. 
I mean, well, I'm not sure why you killed the just... orc army instead of the bowmasters there. Right? That's just straight up evil. Yeah, but you're... Okay, so I don't know why you thought you needed to six, draw land. Sorry. Attack. Six. Helix Skewer, let's go! Amazing. Um, really happy to see Rebel on the scoreboard here. Uh, obviously, some of this stuff could have gone better. Uh, Rebel played in a way that she's actually vulnerable to, like, multiple lightning bolts. Um, and that was as a result of getting her lightning helix de facto counterspelled by Terminate. Um, I think that I would have just immediately cast uh, the searing blaze on the fable the turn that um it came into play or i would have done a lightning helix uh faster than um like maybe to the face uh just so just be prophylactic on that um right but rebel got most of the stuff right there uh just kind of gritted her teeth and made sure to stay in the game even though she was mana screwed early on that was really admirable uh, took out the key creatures. Uh, so also kind of won the lottery by drawing three three pad to exiles. Uh, one thing I would have done differently, I think, is just uh, like the timing on the first pad to exile. That didn't make any sense to me. Um, like, what's your worst case scenario? Do you think that your opponent's going to take a different card, right? Like, they took they took Rift Bolt. Um, like, do you think they're going to take Path? Like, I, I think I might have just taken Path if I were them. Uh, you get the opportunity for uh, additional card advantage if you hold the path, uh, or you know you might just draw land and then you're able to to searing blood the or searing blaze the uh, the grief the next turn. Um, so I just I didn't understand that. Uh, it it seems like Rebel just restricted her her own optionality with that play. Uh, but maybe I'm not seeing something that happened in the game. Like, the, maybe the opponent revealed something. Um, but I don't know that it matters uh, if they did. So, good. Rebel, scoreboard, awesome. Rock and roll. Let's get the last one. Love Mike! 